Hi guys and welcome to another showcase video. So today I've got my second version of the 108k concrete battery. Only a couple of days ago I uploaded the first concrete battery video and that has gone down quite well. This one's going to be a bit more in depth now. So as soon as I finished uploading that video, pretty much straight away after that, the next day, worked for the entirety of the afternoon and the evening on making this more compact version and it is just so much better. Blast games are better, more compact the overall, get right down into it and explain how everything works. So here is the obsidian platform that you spawn in when you come to the end and basically the configuration we have right here is this platform with some glowstone here, you can put sea lanterns here if you wanted to but basically put a light sort of type block there it's mainly to stop the enemy spawning on your platform and this is the configuration you have when you have just the concrete powder so if the concrete powder is broken by the slab down here it will then become an item and it will be flowed into this central location to go off to a storage system of your choosing so right now I haven't put a storage system in it because I am lazy. That, that's the that's the default uh, setting, and you should always keep it in the setting when you're not here in the end. So I've got some scientists here saying turn off before leaving the end. So as long as this lamp's off and all two keygeepers are not activated and that the piston feed tapes are not activated, then you're happy to uh, feel free to go leave and go and do whatever else. All you gotta do is flip this lever and it'll turn everything on. So if you turn it on right now, uh, so there's no concrete coming in, then nothing's gonna happen other than just some TNT explosions. So here it activates the TNT jeepers. Free camp to show you. There you go, it's blowing up some concrete that's already there. But the TNT comes in, uh, gets activated every two seconds by this clock over here. The TNT jeepers are automatically aligned into this drop sheet here and they will then pull down. And we have this obsidian here to stop it blowing anything else up, as well as blowing this up, because that would be bad. All we do is push down the concrete into the TNT blasts and it will blow up the concrete and collect it. And this is much better than the previous TNT blast jump I showed because it was just slower at collecting items, um, which meant that the rates were slightly less than 108k. Uh, so this is a lot better and it's also less likely to uh, have any losses in it, so it's a lot more lossless. This is similar to the TNT Blast Chamber that we showcased in the 72k Concrete Factory by Tomato2M80, uh, which is the main inspiration for this Concrete Factory in the previous one. So I credit to him for the horizontal uh, streams here that have this old sand contraption bit, uh, as that's why I first saw it in his Concrete Factory. In the world download for this, there won't be any concrete, they will just be like it was in the previous video, the previous Concrete Farm. Uh, the, all the locations where the water streams are here uh, was Neverack because it's too blocked to blow up and no one really cares about Neverack so it's not, too, uh, not the end of the world to use that. And the main differences here are to do with this, well, the TNT blast chamber as well as the piston feed tape so we'll just turn the TNT jeepers off. So there'll be a short delay before the turn off which is activated by this uh, repeated clock here and, it's, and the reason for this is so that there's enough time for this side of the TNT blast chamber, so, uh, so this, this feed tape here, uh, which comes from below. So the feed tapes that come from below on all sorts of sides take longer to finish. And so uh, this side will be done and all fine, but this side will still be pushing blocks down. And if the TNT is not blowing it up, then you're going to reach push limit and you're going to have a broken farm. So no one wants that. That's why there is this clock that's activated when you turn the farm off. So yeah, and then the feed tapes, uh, what's different about these is now that it's a bit more compact here. We've already got two uh, for each level because whereas before it was three levels, I was able to get a system in place such that you can push two concrete powder per layer. Here, uh, the concrete powder is pushed up into the stream. It's then converted and it's pushed out essentially uh, as soon as it gets in. So it's, it's a lot quicker now as well to uh, develop a pun after, after it's been converted. Uh, and it will then combine itself eventually over here. So uh, when this stream moves in, it gets pushed, and then when this stream moves in, it gets pushed, and there'll never be a confliction because this will, it's this one first, then that one, and then, uh, it, uh, and then it gives you this constant stream out here, and you have a faster stream coming down, and then before you can collect the concrete quicker. So uh, it's just much better than the previous one, uh, more compact in overall redstone, uh, a lot easier to build in general. Also, the redstone's been improved, so when it detects the concrete here, it, it will only do one pulse rather than two pulses, so previously it would like fire if uh, it wasn't actually got any concrete there. And also, I activate these pistons automatically, or as quickly as possible, using this slime tower with some redstone. 
and it's the same on this side. The honey is actually not needed here because of the slime tower is here for another reason. And the reason for that is alignment. If we go to uh, this over here, so when you activate this, this drops down. Uh, in sync, there's instant repeater uh, lines below to make it drop down in sync. The concrete aligns itself with this honey. It slows it down, which is very key to this particular type of design. You need it to slow it down. But it's also for this alignment of these horizontal streams. So uh, the concrete powder has to be aligned with this honey to actually glide across these uh, salt sand water sources. That's why we have the honey. But because of this alignment, when it comes into the uh, concrete converter bit, it needs to still be aligned with this. If this was a full block, it would break it and you would get concrete piling up here or concrete items piling up here. And that wouldn't be good because that's not what we want. Yeah, that's really it in terms of the overall sort of uh, description and design because uh, it's the same on all four sides. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really does help out the channel. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this one. And I shall see you again real soon. Bye-bye.